my bookcases. Now, currently they're a big mess, to be honest. Um, I've got books scattered all over the place. It's really difficult for me to find kind of what I want. Um, it's also kind of annoying when I'm just looking at them and I want to just enjoy them and they're a bit of a mess. It stresses me out, so I'm hoping to fix that today. Now, I do tend to have a system. So I like my books to be organised via author, then by series, in chronological order, and then by size. That's traditionally how I've done it. I've done it that way for years. That works for me. Um, but over the last, I would say, kind of six months to a year, it's just exploded out of control. As I've been bringing new books into the house, or as I've had things returned from friends, there hasn't been room physically to put them where I've wanted to put them. They just kind of went all over the place, honestly. Um, so you can kind of pick an author and they might be a book over here or over here and they're not cohesive, they're not together. That really bugs me. Um, I do have the day off work today so I thought I'd fix it finally. Um, it's probably going to take me a while and I think what I'm going to do is just pull everything off, uh, pop them into piles on the floor, sort them out exactly where I want them and then I need to decide kind of where to put them. So um, currently I have kind of some of my favourite books on these bookcases behind me. And then on this unit here, I've just got a load of random books shoved all over. I think what I'm going to try and do is my kind of absolute favourites will go back on there. Everything else will go on here, potentially. Um, also, this might need to be shelved kind of too deep as well. So you might not necessarily see everything, um, depending on how many books I have. I have gathered them from around the house. I had books in my bedroom, the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, this room. They were just everywhere in piles. So I'm going to have to go through them all and figure out um, what I'm going to keep, where it's all going to go. And then at the end, I will pan around and show you how I have it all set up. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take. It might get done today, hopefully, but it might take a couple of days. So this video might be kind of chopped together in sections. We'll have to see. What I'm going to do now is just get some headphones, uh, pop on some music or an audiobook, get a cup of tea and just get to it. So I'm going to leave the camera going while I um, kind of run about this room and try and solve this nonsense. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. I really like watching this
8 p.m. here. Um, I've been going at this for hours. I'm not sure how much longer it's going to take me, I would imagine. Maybe four or five hours, conservatively. Um, I'm probably going to keep going for another hour or so and then just pack it in and try again tomorrow. I knew it was going to take a while to get all these books organised, but I wasn't actually prepared for how long it's taking me. I'm so tired, um, so I might call it quits uh, pretty soon. I'm just going to give you a quick little look um, at what I can see. I'm trying to pan the uh, camera and I've just got my phone here, so let me just turn that around. So it's just nonsense everywhere behind me in all directions and um, if you can see on the floor here as well it's just an absolute disaster so <laughs> yeah i'm probably gonna have to go soon <laughs> hopefully your night is less tiring than mine <laughs> knocked over so many books uh, it started off relatively organized in piles and it's just absolute chaos so I think what I'm gonna do is clean up as best I can try and pop things into piles and then just start again tomorrow morning so hopefully I will be back and I'll see you guys soon so I've just finished uh, piling up all the books and it's much better now than it was uh, thank goodness I think I'm not sure what happened really, why I get so bad before, but this is much more accessible, much easier for tomorrow, ready to um, be organised onto the shelves. Currently they're looking like this. So I've got some of them organised already. I've got some books randomly popped about, and I'm hoping to sort all of this lovely mess out tomorrow as well. That's it for me tonight. Bye guys. Morning everyone. It's Sunday morning. I'm feeling really good about all of this today. I'm all ready. I've walked the dogs. I've had some breakfast. Ready to go. I've been sitting here for a little while now just kind of looking at all the piles. They make me really happy just to look at which I realise is a bit weird if you're not a reader or you don't kind of love books like I do but it makes me happy especially considering obviously yesterday these books were all over the place I kept falling over them which was worrying because I don't you know want to damage them I love them so much and it was difficult to put anything away I was kind of hopping and hobbling and that wasn't good so this is much better 
I finished the audiobook that I was listening to yesterday. I've got a new one lined up ready to go. So hopefully the day I'll go over really quick. I think what I'm going to do is work in like little two hour bursts every two hours, take a break, have a cup of tea, snack, etc. So I'm hoping maybe six to eight hours optimistically. I have no idea if that's a realistic time. Sometimes when I do this and rearrange the bookcases I can do the lot in like four hours. Sometimes, sometimes it takes me like three to four days. Uh, sometimes it takes me a week or two. I don't know. Uh, I guess I just work at a kind of funny pace and I do have a tendency to get to the point where I've got pretty much you know everything on the shelves or at least three quarters and then I realise I hate it. I don't like where anything is and I pull it all off and start again and that's a problem so I'm hoping that I don't do that today because I don't have time so I'm gonna get started and wish me luck. <laughs>
right so that's it I am finished thank god um I have pretty much organized it how I wanted to I'm going to show you in a sec I've got all of the um kind of favorite books on the black bookcases a lot of assortment of other stuff on the white ones I do still have a lot of kind of um bookish paraphernalia um kind of little pop figures and paper things I'm not sure if I'm going to put them back on the bookcases or if I'm going to find somewhere else for them I'll faff about with that later but for now I'm just going to show you what it looks like Some of them have some gaps. I'm going to be popping some knickknacks back on these shelves, I think, later on this evening. And we've got the corner bookcase as well. It's mostly favourites and a few things that I want to read on these black bookcases and the white ones are all dual layered and it's just an assortment of stuff. Some I've read, some I haven't, some I love, some I don't. It's mostly standalones on here as well, um, apart from a few exceptions. There is a lot of books that I don't have um, sequels to or the sequels just don't exist, they're just random standalone books that I do want to read or I have read. There we go, I think that's it. So that's all done now, I'm just gonna pop the knickknacks that I've got back on the shelves and we are done. I hope you've enjoyed watching this, I really enjoyed doing it. I'm super tired, I think I'm gonna have some dinner, uh, have a bath, candle, cup of tea again and of course read a book. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.